Tough afternoon for the Yankees at the stadium here, dropping this one to the Guardians. The series now split at one apiece. David, when you look at this one, the Yankees did have some opportunity, but just could not get the big hit. 0 for 7 with runners in scoring position, 11 left on base. Yeah, when you look at all the opportunities with men on base, including seven walks, and you only come up with two runs, that's where you start with the analysis of this game and all the opportunities on the bases. You had base runners, couldn't get that big hit, and the quality of contact and the quality of at bats were kind of iffy too so it wasn't as if they got robbed or they had good at bats and hitting bad luck it just looked like there were missed opportunities overall Bieber pretty good this afternoon John Carlos Stanton did manage to get to him early in the game aside from that David what was he doing to keep the Yankees hitters off balance well you know that every two out of three pitches is going to be some sort of a breaking ball he's right on the black with it all night long his command of his breaking ball package is really remarkable the sliders the cutters the break the curveballs that he throws just keeps a lot of hitters off balance and he pitches in just enough to keep you honest as well. Now, there were some interesting decisions made when the Yankees got to extra innings. Aaron Boone decided to go with Jamison Tyone. He had never pitched out of the bullpen before. Do you agree with that decision with some of the arms they still had back there? Well, that was the decision. When you get into extra innings, you start to get into sort of, is this going to go on and on? And that's the room, or that's the spot for, for a starting pitcher. You're going to let him go to Tyone. That was almost like a start for him. If you think Cleveland's going to match you, then you're going to go 11, 12, 13th. Maybe that's what uh, Aaron Boone was thinking, running and, with the starter. And you look at the Guardians there, not like he was hit particularly hard. A couple of bloop hits, unfortunate placed hits uh, for the Guardians. And then, of course, the Naylor ball was, in fact, hit hard. Now, in the bottom of the inning, Tim LeCastro hit. You still had Marwin Gonzalez on the bench, Aaron Hicks on the bench. Did you expect for him to go to one of those two players? It kind of reminded me of Mariano Rivera back in the day where right-handed batters got a better look mm -hmm. off of that hard-cut fastball than lefties do. And that's what I, I'm so Sort of uh, guessing that that was probably the thinking that maybe LaCastro with his speed would get a better look, either an infield hit or on that hard Class A cutter that he might get a better swing. One thing has been noticeable so far this series, Aaron Judge has been struggling a little bit at the plate, obviously small sample size, just two games, but he does not look like himself, David. No, it, it's kind of the elephant in the room at the top of the order. I mean, you expect him to get better swings, and he's so good at working the counts and getting his share of walks, so the amount of strikeouts really kind of runs out, runs up the flagpole at you, and you, you wonder if he's seeing the ball or if it's Cleveland and the pitchers and their approach. I think it's a little bit of both. Maybe he's uh, not expecting their approach, but they're in and out on him, mixing it up and pitching him differently than he saw at the end of, of the regular season. The Yankees sure need to get him going. They will now head to Cleveland for the next two games. Should be interesting. That is going to do it from the stadium for now. For David Cohn, I'm Meredith Morakovitz. Bob, we'll send it back to you.